Welcome back to the morning show. It's Wise Guy Wednesday, and we're we're making a mess here today. I hope so. I like making a mess. So Especially we, if you don't have to be the one to mop it up. <laughs> I have a feeling I do have to mop it up, right? We may make it this time. <laughs> so last week we talked about collisions, right? And. And, you know, everybody's heard about collisions, and you're afraid right. of them in cars, and it's a bad thing. And so I wanted to describe why collisions are, are bad when you're in a car and how you can try to, uh, to minimize the damage that's done during a collision. And so to, to understand this, first of all, I have a little demo here with, with two rubber balls, which are identical, Robert. I wonder if you could take one in each hand and just drop them both over there. <laughs> okay. We call this what demo, do do, Robert? We, we call this okay. happy, happy ball, sad ball, because one of them just sticks like that and the other one bounces. Okay. okay. That, that would be the sad ball that just stops. That's right. That's the inelastic collision, and Ooh, this like is the it. elastic collision. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay. Now, it turns out that the force that is exerted on an object as it has a collision is proportional to a couple of things. How, how much momentum it has before it collides and how quickly it stops. Okay. And so if you want something to... to to get damaged, what you want to do is stop it very, very quickly. So if I drop this egg into this cup, which is unpadded, oh, it yeah, breaks. It worked. It broke. Not much splash. Right. Over here, I have a cup that I filled with some flour, and I'm going to put some saran wrap over that so that it doesn't splash on your suit. And when I drop the egg in here, it doesn't break. It just leaves a hole in the flour. Okay. So what happened was this, this egg stopped very suddenly. This one stopped over about half an inch of falling down. And it, just, just enough to make the difference? That was enough to, to, if it stops gradually, the force is much, much less and it doesn't break. So we have a demonstration that you're going to do now, Robert. You're going to take this egg and I put a bullseye up over there and you're going to throw the egg as hard as you can at that bullseye. Target and over here. My claim is that, that's right, my claim is that the egg is not going to break. Are you going to... Shoot the target there, Rick? Well, oh, Al, got it. Al has that shot. You want to try two? I have an extra egg. <laughs> well, if I miss, <laughs> how embarrassing. You know what Robert's going to say? You throw like a girl. You know, I was just thinking that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come over here. Awesome. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> well, okay, we broke we did, the actually. two eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it wasn't the throw, it was hitting his egg. When his egg stopped mine suddenly. So when things stop gradually, the force on the object is much less. The acceleration is less. That's why you have airbags in a car, because you have a big fluffy thing That's in front right. of you that slows you slowly. That's why uh, bicycle helmets are made of squishy styrofoam, so that your head doesn't stop suddenly when it hits the ground. Okay. It can squish into the styrofoam. Okay. Good theory. Energy absorbing. Yes. Right. Energy absorbing. Exactly and our, right. Uh, do you have someone who answered this question? Uh, well, that wasn't the question. The oh, question had to do with roller coasters, and I'm just going to do that yes. next time. In the next second. In the next okay. second. A tease for next time. Right. Left. Can I throw it? Yes, you can. Go, go for it. <laughs> well, some special friends lift the spirits of young cancer patients in central Illinois. That story is still coming up on the morning show. Plus, the television drama CSI comes to a central Illinois classroom. Stay with us.